All right, guys, so the Singapore Grand Prix was an absolute disaster. We ended up having terminal damage. Uh, I'll show you just a, a highlight of or two of that race, but it wasn't good. Um, I had a couple of cool overtakes, but yeah, we ended up just... It started raining, and I was on softs, and I just couldn't keep control of the car, and I skidded off and crashed into a wall. But yeah, I'll show you the highlights, and then we'll get back to uh, the Japanese Grand Prix, the Suzaka International Racing Course. I just can't control the car in the rain at the moment with these softs, okay. man. I'm not okay. I'm gone. I'm out of the goddamn race, bro. What do you mean? They're giving me an automatic flashback. I don't want it. I'm retiring. But yeah, guys, please do make sure to drop a big like on this video. The last video done really well where we had pole position. We didn't end up getting any points in the, in the Grand Prix, unfortunately. But the video done really well would smash the 150 likes. So let's do something similar in this video. That would be awesome. And uh, I appreciate all the support. It does mean the world to me. Lance Stroll is now dominating um, the rivalry. Um, and there's zero races remaining. So this is the last race, is it? I don't think I can even technically beat him. I don't think I can actually beat him now. Because I would have to gain back five. And I, I'm not sure that's possible unless he like, has a DNF. We need to take Lance Stroll out of the race and win. <laughs> so that's pretty much impossible. Anyway, let's jump in. Um, we're not going to do any practice. Uh, let me know if you'd prefer short qualifying over full qualifying as well. I kind of enjoy doing the full qualifying. I think short is like one, um, one session um, instead of like uh, Q1, Q2, Q3. It doesn't really matter for me anyway because I rarely make it out of Q2. I have a couple of times, but uh, we have up to difficulty now, remember. Uh, we're on higher difficulty now, so it's uh, I think we're 60. Um, so we, we can pump that up even more as we go forward, but I, uh, it felt like the right difficulty in the... In the um, Singapore Grand Prix, I just wasn't racing that well, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, let's let's jump in and start our first practice. We're gonna do quick practice because uh, we're doing uh, full qualifying anyway, so we don't need to really know the track that well. Uh, let's set an optimal second sector time if we can. Fifty percent chance. Yes. Okay. Good. I rarely get those to be honest, so that's handy. Rear downforce seventy percent. Give me that. Yes. Okay. And we'll do that as well. Oh, I should have probably gone for the 70% MG UK one, actually. But uh, it is what it is. We'll have to go for a 25% chance. Let's try a 25% chance here. Fuck it. Oh, we got it. Holy shit. What a session that was. Let's go. Qualifying pace 4 out of 5 on that session. That was nice. Really nice. Okay. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. Um, F1 is back this week as well. It's, uh, it's race week. Um, so it's uh, not too far away now. This weekend, of course. Um, let's go for race strategy this time. And we'll go for the 50% for the turbo durability and the energy recovery system. No, never gonna be, uh, we're never going to be that lucky. We don't even have time to go for that again. Holy fuck. And we don't have time to go for that either. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's go for track acclim acclimatization then. That's what I was nervous about. That we were going to get a single thing done in that practice session. And that's exactly the way it played out. Um... I hate when you have two 50% in a row go against you, or three even. It happens to me far too often. I get so unlucky with these goddamn 50 percenters. I don't think I've ever had a 70% go against me, but the 50 percenters are just... All right, Japan, here we go. I'm excited. I'm excited, I'm delighted. Remember to use uh, code the Apex Sound to get 20% off Rogue Energy. It would be greatly appreciated. Um, let's jump in. Suzaka International Racing Course. How are you doing today? Feeling confident? We've talked about the flow before, and it's especially true here. Pretty much every turn leads into the next, and especially in the first sector, if you get offline, you're going to suffer all the way to Degner 1. Don't get too greedy on any individual turn. Everything in Sector 1 is building up to a good exit out of Dunlop. If you are nail, if you nail that, you are golden. Also, keep in mind there are a couple of ways to take the hairpin. Instinctively, you'll want to take a tight line, but you can probably carry more speed if you go slightly wider, kind of like the carousel at the Nordschliff. Okay, it sounds good to me. Though I don't, I think we'll go with the balance car for this one. It doesn't seem like uh, going for more downforce would be wise um with how difficult these corners sound so we'll just uh we'll just go with this japanese grand prix boom 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 let's do it i'm excited i think i've done this track multiple times in other racing games right i think this has been in gran turismo drive club those kind of games fours even um i'm not sure exactly which ones it's been in but uh, i think this is a, a popular track I could be wrong, but I think so. All right, uh, let's go, baby. Let's just go. 13 laps is the Grand Prix as well, so 
It ain't too bad. Let's go to track uh, park for May rules. Yes, yes, yes. Let's do a flying lap. I was going to say we could drive out, but uh, uh, I'm not going to bother. We'll just do a flying lap. We'll just do a flying lap. I was saying we could drive out because we would get to grips with the track, but I already know this track, as I said, so not the end of the world. Keep it going. Looks different to the other ones, too, man. It's crazy. Ooh, that's a lot of grip we have here on the soft. A lot of grip! Yeah, I see what he means. Like, definitely... Definitely some little, uh... Intricate turns there. Alright, we're going for the first qualifying lap right now. Let's do this. Got DRS on. And we're smashing towards the first turn. Alright, decent. Decent, 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 decent. Not the end of the world there. Alright then. No, 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 no. Dang it. That's unfortunate. That was a decent lap too, I think. But uh, I might as well just return to garage and start again. Alright, I think that was a good start, but unfortunately just uh, lost control there. We'll return to garage and we'll, uh, we'll try again. Unfortunate. Track is a little busy at the moment, but we'll just go straight back out. I don't think we need to, to wait around or anything. We'll just go straight back into another flying lap. Okay, let's do it. I was so slow coming out of there. I'm gonna go for this once more, I think. Right, we're up to 18th, not great, but we can we can do better than that, 100. percent Okay. Better, better, better there. That was still kind of slow, but it was definitely better. So, I think we move up to 16th. That's not quite good enough. Return to the garage. Okay, that's not good enough, but it's better. We need to be better again, though, unfortunately. Have a look. Uh, 16th is a decent, decent time for this car at the moment, I think. But uh, it could be even better. Okay, let's go to... Mediums are plus, so yeah. Let's go to the soft here, this one. Let's go to track. Uh, flying lap. I think we have... We still have some time. I'm not sure exactly, but we still have some time. Okay. Give this one more crack to get into the top 15 and head to Q2. If I qualified in 16th, I wouldn't be the, I wouldn't be too upset to be honest. You know, I wouldn't be mad about it or anything, but uh, it would be nice to to get into Q2. Definitely. Yeah, we. This is gonna be our last chance. This is our last attempt, so we gotta we gotta make this work. Let's go for it. Let's go for this shit, big style, baby. All night and all day. Much better. Much better there. That's the way you want to take that turn. That's the way you want to take that turn, baby. 100%. Who's ahead of us here? They're going fast for a fast lap anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, but I hope that they don't come into uh, into contact with us. It doesn't look like they will. They're going pretty quick. Alright. They are gaining on it. It's Shoemaker. Gaining on little Chumi here, so you might have to get out of the way. We're a full second ahead of our previous time, man. Michael, please. Or Mick, rather. No, dickhead, don't do this. Okay. That's okay. He didn't really fuck us up too much. That was actually taken really well, to be honest. That was a brilliant overtake. That would have been unreal in the Grand Prix. Yo, this is an immense time right now. This is a savage time. If I mess this up somehow, I'm going to be pissed off. But right now, it's all looking golden here. It's all looking golden, baby. Come on. Nearly two seconds ahead. This could be a top top five time, honestly. That's how good this, this lap is. Oh, and we cut that corner beautifully. What I'm saying, bro, we're two seconds ahead here. Holy shit, what a lap. It might be my best ever qualifying lap. Third. <laughs> Third! I'm telling you, that was just absolutely perfection from start to finish. The pity we didn't do that in Q2, because, like, well, we had to do that to get into Q2, so that's the thing. But holy shit, what a performance. What a performance. Third! We finished third! Holy moly! Just ahead of Lando Norris. Let's go! Hard to believe that one. Hard to believe that one. Lewis Hamilton down there. Obviously, they're not pushing their hardest here in Q, uh, Q1, but we'll take that all day. All day. You too, here we go! You did get pole position in the last race, so it's like... 
it's not that surprising, I guess. But um, yeah, good start. All right, let's see if we can get to Q3. We have a lap like that we can get to Q3, but get, recreating that lap is going to be a thing of true, true magic. That was a beautiful lap. You don't even need to brake, like, or even take your foot off the gas there, I don't think. Like, it tells you to take your foot off the gas momentarily, and I have done, but I don't think you need to, because when I'm doing the flying lap, I've not done it, and it seems like you go through it with much more pace, so we're going to try that. Try and not take our uh, foot off the gas here. All right. Top 10. Oh, why did I fucking brake there? I'm a moron. That was stupid. Still took the corner pretty well, though. What was our what was our time actually on that? I would love to. I don't even know what our time was. I would love to know what our actual time was. You know, because that would be pretty decent then. That would be pretty pretty decent to compare it to. I mean to say. I'm losing my marbles here, son. This is where we got. We actually got such a good overtake on Schumacher there as well. Poor old Mick, I watched a bit the documentary and that was just really sad actually. That documentary broke my heart at the end when Mick was speaking about his dad. It really did. Like, that must be so tough for him, man. It really must be. So, I really think there should be a DRS zone here, no? I feel like there should be, man. Only one DRS zone on this track and it's not like it's a really intricate track or anything. This is a... Yuki Tsunoda set the fastest lap. See if we can beat it. I don't think we can beat it with this lap, but... Yeah, one more bite of the cherry, for sure. Valtteri Bottas. Alright, here we go. We're third. We're third right now. Third again. I think I can beat that lap, too. I really do. See? We're beating it now. I think that lap was not as good as my lap in, uh... Oh, no. What am I doing? Fastest lap set by Carlos, and that's not going to be as fast as our last lap now. Damn it. I fucked it there. I messed it up there, mate. Oh, we're losing time big time here. I might have had my foot touching the brake, like, slightly or something. I only got a warning for that. <laughs> I only got a warning. Oh, damn it. It's still not going to be good enough to get the... All right, we're fine, though. We've moved down to sixth, but still, I think that's more than good enough to progress to Q3. There's no way that that many people are getting past me. There's no way. All right, I'm just sticking in. No, we came 11th. Why did I not go back out? I thought I'd be okay. For some reason, we came 11th. Oh, fuck off. Look at how close we worked getting through as well. Yuki fucking Sonoda knocked us out by... Just a millisecond there. Oh my god, what a joke. What a joke, man. Dang it. Dang it. <sighs> I'm a moron. We're qualifying 11th, though. That's that pretty decent, you gotta say. I'll take it. Let's have yours. I don't think I could have got a better lap than that anyway. You say is your biggest rival at the moment? Uh, let's go for Esteban Ocon. Because he's one that I can actually feel I feel like I can actually beat. The rest of them I don't think I can beat at the moment. Maybe Alonso. Qualifying pace. Just because of the car. If I told you they'd introduce regulations against him, <laughs> having a great team who worked tirelessly to get the best out of the car. Are you happy with Simple. your performance today? Yes, I think so. Is there anything that you think gave you the edge over your rivals? Um, definitely the power units. At least the aerodynamics of this car are second to none. It's great. Okay, let's go. Let's do this great. thing, baby. Well, that's everything. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's everything. I'm ready for the Japanese Grand Prix. Wait, we're in qualifying three? Oh, no, we're not. Okay. <laughs> I was so confused. Esteban Akon. You beat him in the qualifying position. Now let's beat him in the race. That looks just like him. That's crazy. Okay. Christian Lungard. 32%. No worries. Japan. Career race round 15 to 20. We're nearing the end of this season now. Born ready for the Japanese Welcome Grand Prix, along, baby. Welcome to the magnificent Suzuka International Circuit, a stone's throw away from Isa Bay in the beautiful Japanese countryside. 
What surprises lie in wait for us today in the Japanese... Hopefully race none for me. Except a getting a podium. The race track covers 3.6 miles. And it's the only time during the season that we race... On a okay, at the start of each race, I need to be a little bit more conservative. Because I go for stupid stuff and I always damage my wing at the start of these races, man. Some of the highest always. average apex speeds on the Formula One calendar. And keep an eye out for overtakes going into the final chicane. Yeah. It's race day yet again, and joining me for a chat, Anthony Davidson. And our racers are certainly in for a rough day today. What will you be watching for as they go down into turn one? Well, the start of the race is always one of the most nerve-wracking parts. You have to hope that everyone is able to get off to a clean start, and this is possibly the trickiest part of the entire race. So okay, well, let's do let's it then. Trickiest the part, let's go. Grid order for today's exciting race. A fantastic effort from Charles Leclerc yesterday. He's pole again. Him on pole, edging out Why is he pole seven, every week now? P2. The Looking fuck's going the on, Charles? We have Hamilton, Norris, Valtteri Bottas, and Sainz. Perez, Charles Leclerc has turned into a beast, man. Gasly and Ace. Oh, we're tenth. Fernando Alonso, Vettel. Wait, how are we tenth? It's... And Stroll. Did someone take an engine Joe penalty? Lassi, Raikkonen, George Russell. And Nicholas Latifi, Lundgaard, Sonoda, they've taken a grid penalty. Yeah, Sonoda took a grid penalty, okay. Nikita Sonoda took a grid penalty, interesting. Okay, so we're starting in the in the top 10 then. We're starting in the points. Let's get in the points this race. That's the goal now. Has to be the goal now is to stay in the points. 13 laps, so I can go down to 14. And, uh... Drive as hard and fast as possible to get the most performance out of each set of tires, mitigating the time loss. Okay. I'm gonna let Gasly go ahead and I'm gonna try to go around the outside here. Not gonna go for anything too crazy here, but wow, guys, come on. Everyone's going so slow, it's kind of tripping me up. And we touched the back of Gasly, but nothing serious at least. That's my biggest problem is smashing into the back of people. Because uh, I just always forget that they're gonna be breaking ahead of me so, uh, so early. <laughs> But, uh, okay. Not a bad start. Could be a lot worse. Gasly is obviously in a faster car than us. The Alfa Tauri is uh, pretty decent. Oh, my God. I broke late and got past Gasly, but uh, not for long, I would assume. Gasly goes straight past us here. Oh, this is bad now. Did Gasly just crash? Fortunately, the marshals have managed to clear it up Get in off time, me. And there are no plans for a safety car right now. I'm going to let fucking Vettel go here, because... I do not want to crash here. That's okay. I have my ERS still on, I just realized. Which um, was stupid. Sebastian, can we get past him? In the Aston Martin car, we're going past Sebastian Vettel. I had to pull out of that. I had to pull out of that. I don't think I did, actually. And Gasly was not the one that crashed. No, so he, he goes past me here now. And uh, he's okay, thankfully. I love Gasly. I didn't want to be causing him any trouble. We're out of the points now, unfortunately. Gotta get our shit together here. There's Alonso stroller behind us. Okay, decent, decent, decent. Gotta just keep up with Gasly. Hope our pit's better than, than theirs, maybe. Why am I fucking struggling with the car all of a sudden? What the hell? I was not. Did, did this happen when I... Did I crash or something? I didn't really crash, did I? Kind of confused. It seems all right there again. Maybe the tires just went cold for a second or something. I don't know. Decent. Decent, decent, decent. Green sector. Okay, good. That's good. We're not catching Gasly though, are we? I'm gonna struggle to get in the points here, lads. I unfortunately think we are going to really struggle, man. Able this lap, we can use DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead. I am within one second zone. of the car ahead though. But uh, I think it's too late for DRS there. I don't think I had it on anyway. I pressed the button just in case, but. Lads, why are we fucking losing control of the car all of a sudden? It's weird. I mean, it's manageable, but it's just, it feels like I have to turn a lot harder to get the car to actually frickin' turn here. Gasly seems to be struggling a little bit for pace here, though. We're keeping pace with Gasly, even though we're not racing top-notch 
here, I'd say, so... If we can stay on Gasly like this, we have a chance. Come on, Gasly, baby. Pierre, I'm sorry, I need to take the points from you, sir. I need them more than you do. Gasly's been doing really well in real life at the moment, actually. Which is uh, awesome to see, I really like him. He's been doing really well. So hopefully that uh, long may continue, I say. Alonso's all over us. Good thing I didn't pick him as my rival. Ocon is uh, way behind, I think. He's behind Stroll there. I'm not breaking. I'm going to try not breaking. Yep, right decision, right decision. See, you don't need to break there, I'm telling you. You do not need to break there at all. That was decent, too. All right. Are we within a second here? Are we within a second? No, we're not. Damn it! Damn it. Oh, we are, we are. Wait, I can use it anyway, though. I'm using it, but... I'm staying ahead of you, Mr. Alonso. I made a risky move cutting across him there to, to block him off, but it was worth it, I think. I'm wondering if I should pit and go on the mediums now, though. We are just struggling at the moment. I don't know. If they change my wing when I go in, then I'll know that this was a problem with the wing, but otherwise, I'm kind of confused. Otherwise, I'm kind of confused. Yeah, yeah, there is only one DRS zone on this on this whole goddamn thing, man, which is surprising to me. Considering how many straights there is, and, uh... Decent, decent, decent. We need a good pit, and we need someone ahead of us to have a poor pit. That's about the size of things, really. I think I'm gonna pit as early as possible and work my way through the field. Because, uh, obviously, people ahead of me will be pitting after me, because we're gonna be pitting in, well, laps, lap five, so it's like... Technically lap six, start of lap six. I don't know if I should pit now or wait one more lap. It's a green sector right there, like that ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. See if we can get a decent lap here. We can get another couple of green sectors here and set the fastest lap, our fastest lap, that is not the fastest lap. Then I'll stay out one more lap. That's gonna be our fastest lap, man, 100% it is. We're still losing time on Gasly though, he's just... Yeah, that's our fastest lap. Is dropping back by about three tenths a lap. Good. Well, I like to hear, we'll definitely go another lap then, at least on these softs, because we proved there that uh, the pace isn't gone, it's just that Gasly and... Uh, Gasly and Vettel are just faster, you know? That's our fastest lap of the race. We were, like, we were with Gasly for a while, but he's just pulling away now. Easily, too. He's not out of sight completely, but uh, he's just pulling away ever so slightly each lap. 2.5 ahead is a, is a tough old gap to close. Really good racing at the moment, actually. Surprised that's a red first sector, I really am. I thought that was a really good one. Last lap was good, though. Last lap was pretty good. I'm not going to say too much, but um, if we get a green second sector, it'd be nice. Find out. Find out if we can get our fastest lap once again here. This is going to be close, I think. I mean, real close. Ooh. We're boxing this lap. Give us the best yes, we can. did. We did. Okay, we're pitting this lap, though. Sounds good to me. We got everything we can out of these tires, I feel like. And uh, last two laps, uh, we beat our times twice in a row. So, I think the right decision to stay out. We're in seventh position now with uh, all the people behind us pitting. So, we're in the points as it stands right now. But, obviously, we have to pit next lap, so it's not... Uh, not really like we're probably going to be in the points after that, but you never know. Hopefully they don't change my pit wing is all I'll say. They better not, actually, in fact. Because there's no damage to it, really, is there? Maybe I need to find out that way to, um... Repair wing damage? No. There you go. Boom. Oh, I changed it there. Genius. Happy we did that. Because I don't think there is much wing damage there. Yes, 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 yes. This is a, such a good lap. I'm racing sublimely right now. Really well, in fact. 
a red second sector, but uh, overall, really good. Could we beat our our lap time for the third time in a row? That's the question. Could we beat it for the third time in a row? I don't think so with that one. That wasn't great. Oh, I forgot we're pitting. Holy shit. Completely forgot we're pitting. That's okay. We're going to move back quite a bit here. A lot of people are pitting with us. A lot of people are pitting with us. Exit now. You'll be racing as you leave the pit. All right, three second pit stop. No way Ocon got ahead of me. Are you joking? Andy's pitted? What? Pit strategy complete. See these tires through to the end now. I can't believe that. I can't believe Ocon just got past me. Not for long, son. I'm not letting that happen. Was that? It was a good pit stop, though. How did we lose time on fucking Ocon? It was way back. We're in 16th now. Hmm. Intriguing. We were in 11th when we went into the pits. Oh, we were in 7th when we went into the pits. We were in 11th before everyone else ahead of us went into the pits, is what I was going to say. So there's got to be some people ahead of us that haven't pitted, right? You would assume. Gasly's on the hards now. Which is interesting, so he's definitely pitted. He's still four seconds ahead of us. Alright. Should be fun here. I can be setting fastest times on the mediums, obviously, and we are, um... This is the lap that we pitted, so... Teammates in the pits. Okay, there we go. Christian is coming in for his stop. Okay, no worries. Yeah, quite a few people hopefully will be in the pits. Schumacher is. Yeah, there's a lot of people in the pits here. Okay, Latifi, Schumacher, and all them. So we can get past 100%. The car ahead is we're going to be back seconds. in the points here? No, we're not. Surprisingly, actually, we're not in the points. But Fernando Alonso is close. He's close, and he's just outside the points. Come on, then. Come on then, you legend. I want to race with Fernando Alonso, baby. I want to race with Fernando Alonso, son. Sounds like a dream. Sounds like a dream right now. Five laps of fuel remaining. All I need, baby, five laps. That's a green first sector, too. Wow. You passed Alonso on the inside line? No. Bro, I'm sorry. Whoa. I didn't think you were gonna... That was gonna slow you down. I'm sorry. How bad, Fernando? We got DRS on, on Alonso coming in here, though. Definitely. Come on. Yes, yes. Another green first sector, and we're closer. We're getting closer. Ever so closer. There's gonna be a break here, though. Alright, come on, Fernando. No, it's my time now. That's the second time we've just touched the back of Alonso at that exact, exact corner. Come on, Alonso. You know it's the Young Guns time, son. It's the Young Guns time, Fernando. I mean, I'm 27, but still. There's four laps of fuel remaining. But we only have four laps left. That's fine. Pass the slap set by Charles Leclerc. I'm not, I'm not breaking. Yep. Let's go. This is so close now, boys. Touch again. We keep touching the back of him, but he just keeps holding us off. We have DRS on Fernando now. We're leading Once again. 11.0 seconds. I just can't get past him. We're not going to be getting in the points, unfortunately, because... Um, our boy, Gasly, is 3.3 is ahead. There's no way we're getting to him, unfortunately, but... We're trying our best, is the thing. We're trying our best. Who's behind us here? Fuck off, who's that behind me? Ocon, get out of here, Ocon. We have a rivalry going. I don't want you near me, man. Oh, his teammate. Alonso's teammate coming to back him up, huh? I see how it is, Fernando. I see how it is. I'm not going to let you get away with that. I'm not going to let you guys get away with that. I tell you that much right now. Not happening. We're not going to touch this time, but that's a much better uh, 
better corner from us that time. Can we actually take out, or can we get past Fernando Alonso before the end of this race? Let's find out. It's going to be tense. It's going to be close. No doubt till the end. There you go. That's a good turn on Alonso. And that's a really good turn on Alonso. And now we're gaining on him. We're finally starting to gain on him. Come on. Within a second. This has got to be the moment we overtake him. It's got to be. Oh, I'm getting closer, man. I just, I need to find the opportune moment to overtake him. There's not many on this, uh, on this track that I can get at the moment. But uh, I'm trying my best here. I really am. We get in the inside here. We do. And we get the overtake of Alonso. For how long? Yes. Oh, no. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Nice work. We got it. What a battle. What a fucking battle, man. And Pierre is uh, it's just here, but he's untouchable, I think, at this point. We're within three seconds now, but it's not going to be enough. We only have one lap left to catch him unless he spins out or something. God damn it. What a race, though. What a race. This was fun. We're going to just miss out on points once again, but uh, what a fun race that was. I had a blast with that, man. I really did. Alonso might be coming back for a little bit of vengeance here. But he's with that. He's a full second behind now, actually. Valtteri Bottas sets the fastest lap, in fact. Come on, Valtteri. Hello, Valtteri. It's James here. I don't know that. That was great, but uh, got away with it. We gained a couple of seconds on Pierre, actually. Um, not a couple of seconds. That's our fastest lap so far. Final lap of the race. Final lap of the race, and that was our fastest lap of the race. Let's set our. Uh, Let's set another fastest one here on the final lap. How about it? Been racing really well this race, actually. I think we deserve some points. It's just Pierre's car is just that much too fast. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. And Alonso might give it one more go to overtake us, actually. We will see. We shall see, Renly. Come the dawn. Our gap to the car in front is 3.2 seconds. The red sector, unfortunately, and Alonso is within a second, but barely. Do this turn, turn well, we should get a full second ahead of Alonso. And we are. Nice. Beautiful. He's back within a second, though. Okay, Alonso. He's not giving up. He never gives up the legend. Alright, last lap. Max Verstappen wins! Love to see it. Max Verstappen wins the Japanese Grand Prix. And we are going to come in 11th, unfortunately. Pierre Gasly is going to finish uh, a couple seconds ahead of us. Um, it was Vettel was ahead of him, but he was way in the distance. It was just kind of me chasing down Gasly for the last lap or two here with Alonso hot on our tail, and that's going to be a quality performance. I have to that's say, that's our best race we'll in quite a while. Um, even though we didn't get any points um, on this difficulty that I've just pumped it up to, I pumped it up at uh, harder 60, I think it is now. Um, I think eventually we'll go up even further, but for now, that's a... Uh, that was, was nice. And Sebastian so Vettel is the right driver of the day. To take the win for Red Bull today. We started 10th, we finished As 11th. It's unfortunate we went down a position, today. but... Uh, what set them apart from the rest? Well, they certainly Max stood out to the tons of confidence on the track. Act. I think their ability no, to keep Max. their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were Max able to capitalize eh? on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. Indeed. Indeed. All right. Red Bull there you go, Max Verstappen. fight for the front position today, and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sport that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. <laughs> Valtteri and Charles. Lewis nowhere to be seen at the moment. It's been Charles and Max and Valtteri on the podium. But, uh, interestingly enough, Lewis Hamilton not there. There you go. Let's have a look then. At the 11th position, we went down the one. The top of the championship has been it was Vettel overtook us. A difficult race today. So Vettel, you know I like Vettel. So, so Anthony Davidson, who would you nice rank as your points. driver of the day? Sebastian Vettel would definitely be my first choice. He showed up a lot of the drivers out yeah, on the track today. He started in 12th and finished in 9th. It's time to see how things are shaping up 
in the constructors. Lewis Hamilton six. No change in Surprising. the top spot, but with today's points, their hold on the lead is getting weaker. And with that, we wrap up another weekend of motorsport. But Indeed, that was fun, guys. I really enjoyed it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video as well. Hang on one second. Renew sponsors, sure. Let's renew them. Why not? Um, activities. We'll set all of these and uh, have a look at R and D there. See what we can do. Off the front wing adjuster bracket, sure. Why not? And the turbo improved materials, sure. All right, four twelve. I think that's all we can do for now. That's still pretty decent, I think. We have 3.29 million now, actually. So we got lots of money. We got lots of money, money, money. Um, what else can we do here? Resource points generation. Let's go with that. Go with the resource points generation and that. We can do both. So why not both, huh? All right. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. All right, but that's where we're going to end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a like. It's the best way to let me know you enjoy the content. And we will be back for the United States Grand Prix in the next video. And I very much look forward to that. So major thank you for all the... No. This week. So the entire development package for this weekend has failed. No! Any redevelopments will need to be ordered from the R&D screen. You're fucking with me, bro. The redesigned brake ducts failed. Ah. Oh. 0% failure chance. Okay, they're only going to miss out for this Grand Prix anyway. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. It's been my pleasure to serve you all.